Okay, so listen up, gang. This episode definitely pointed out a lot of things that I was already suspecting, but I didn't want to say because I was just like, all right, I'm going to chill and relax for a little bit, right? I want to sit back and relax. I was going to do that this episode. I wasn't going to talk about a lot of the shit that I'm going to talk about, but I mean, it needs to be broken down this way, at least for me, because I am not somebody who has touched the source material you know what i mean sure i checked out volume one of classroom of the elite for the manga that was business <laughs> right that was business so that had to get done we are now moving into what seems to be a sports festival arc and from the trailer of the season two and season three which if you guys would like to see it the card will pop up somewhere up here i don't know where it's gonna be and i'm gonna show the video that i made for it on the screen as well is this where we see Ryuin get into it with Ayana Koji and I kind of have some speculation as to like what that entails you know what I mean this episode kind of brought that to light as well so it's going to be a couple of things that we're going to talk about obviously everybody is always worried about points you know what I mean and we saw the class as they were going over who should participate in what whether whether it be the voluntary events or the mandatory events you know Sudo was all on that shit because he's like the most athletic person in the class next to like the blonde head dude whose name literally just escaped me and I, I had it in my brain and I forgot you you guys will tell me in the chat please don't flame me but anyway other than him and like I and Koji are like the most athletic people in our class so we understand that the participation is going to require a lot of support from everybody in the class which is why I and Koji was so before we get even into this I want to point out something that I and Koji said that literally struck me and it's about creating a framework we realized that he's been creating the framework for our class to be successful I want to say since the beginning you know what I mean it could have been when the whole Icarus speech went down when him and the teacher was at that play but he's been creating the framework for this shit for a while and this episode what happened here definitely adds credence to that because I knew it the moment Horikita got to talking and all we saw was her and then we looked over and we just saw Ayana Koji on the phone I knew it from that fucking moment I was like all right he's gonna set up a plan for K to do some shit to try to cause an uprising and that is exactly what happened right that is exactly what happened this caused a divide now I know I said I'm gonna talk about you know the people wanting to score high and what that means to the bottom 10 people right that score is low and this is what it is right it's the divide in the class what I took away from this is the fact that if we want our class to unite we have to come to a similar conclusion right we all have to come to an agreement on something in specific so when he created the divide between k and horikita it showed me that there is still no unity in our class and something has to happen in order for us to do that right i'm telling you guys ayana koji is fucking special with this shit because think about it like this when you create a divide and you find the person who agrees with both sides what happens if that person who agrees with both both sides ends up turning out to be a fucking traitor right would that not create unity amongst the class maybe maybe not that's like a portion of what i took away from this i also took away from the fact that ayana koji is still trying to teach horikita a lesson right He's still trying to teach her a lesson about what it means to bring together a class, what it means to be a, a team fucking leader. The flex of knowing that K can do that also reared its head here because you realize that when she got to talking and, you know, she was expressing what Ayana Koji wanted, everybody took to her. So it's more so puppeting at this point, right? He's puppeting her to make her take the lead of the girls in the class, which is something that we discussed in the last episode, which which is very relevant right now, which leads us to Horikita expecting things out of Ayana Koji and Ayana Koji abstaining from these things because we understand that Horikita is still immature. She's still doing all of this for, you know, her brother's affection or attention or whatever it is. She can't lie her way out of that. Ayana Koji pointed that shit out immediately. So let's get to some deeper shit. 
because I really like this. Ayana Koji and K were talking on the stairs and you know K really wants to know what Ayana Koji is on. Like it's not about like what you want for the class. What are you doing? And he hit her with the even if I told you right now you wouldn't believe it. You wouldn't believe me. So I'm just going to create this framework just to show you what I can do. Right? Ayana Koji, he's very methodical which is why what happened in the classroom was so fucking important, bro. It was so fucking important. And I'm gonna get to that now, right? So when we're outside and we're all training, we're seeing everybody get their shit together, right? We're seeing everybody work it, right? They working. Pseudo leading the other homies like, yo, you gotta, you gotta sit on this shit. You gotta pull. You got Sakura just running around aimlessly trying to get in shape, probably trying to show off to Ayana Koji because we know how she feels. You know what I mean? And then we see Horikita working with some of her classmates and even they wasn't fucking with it, right? And she He's still in this mindset of why would I try to work so hard with you guys when you guys is just gonna hold me back y'all gonna bring my score down I love what Ayana Koji did here because he he gave her a swift reality check gave her a swift reality check like look it's not about speed you won't even look your fucking teammate in the face you won't try to match pace you won't compromise for any of this shit to try to make this shit work if, it, if it's not your way it's not gonna work right that's how you're living I like that because it, it humbles her and it continues continues to I feel like make her understand that she is an immature brat bro like you have to compromise that's what the three-legged race is about that's what the sports event is about that's what a lot of this shit comes down to and it's something that she can't get going in her brain which is insane to me but this is where shit got tricky and you know a lot anime does this all the time and it, it's never about like what happens in the middle it's always about what happens in the end that's how they get you to come back the following week they hit you with a fucking fat ass cliffhanger right so i and the coach is like hey why don't you and me go out this weekend you me and another she's like who he was like Kushida. And he goes on to tell her that there was a traitor in the Earth group and that it turned out to be Kushida. I say that to say this. What the fuck did Kay and Ayana Koji also talk about on the staircase? That we are going to produce a traitor. Why not produce somebody who already knows what it means to be a traitor? Somebody who already knows what it means to be two faced. Somebody who already knows what it means to live on that side of the fence. And that is Kushida. That's why I said that. That classroom shit was so important because not only did he create a divide in the classroom, he also got the opinion of somebody who has already been a traitor before and who's willing to be like, man, I think y'all both right, right? Just to try to keep herself neutral, to make herself seem neutral, you know what I mean? Very, very, very good move on Ayana Koji's part. This is what I mean when I talk about anime protagonists using their IQ the correct way way right like using their brain the correct way implementing their plans in such a way that you can't help but be in awe of like what the fuck they're doing because it's so cool and just to touch on something real quick I, I said I was gonna cover this so I might as well bring it up so remember I was saying at the beginning of the video that I think I know the reason as to why I and Koji got into it with Ryuin right and like I said I've heard from you guys that you know he is top he's a top tier character and we should really fuck with him I want to know why but not yet right I want to figure out why. So could it be that Kushida has been leaking information to Ryuin about our class and about what goes on, right? Could that be the case? That's just my, you know, assumption here. And that could have been what caused Ayana Koji to flip out and start fighting Ryuin. Does it have to deal with K as to why, you know, Ayana Koji flipped out and started fighting him? I don't know, man. I just wanted to like bring my two cents into the situation. I'm not the most knowledgeable, obviously, because I only, I'm only going off of what I've seen. Excellent episode, right? It may not seem like an excellent episode on the fucking surface, especially for somebody who doesn't want to think about what's going on and just wants to be told what's going on. Classroom of the Elite is not built like that, bro. You really have to sit down and use your brain and think about what is really going on behind the scenes and what Ayana Koji is 
really creating here. You know what I mean? And the fact that we're teaming up with Class A, I have some theories about what's going on there, but I won't get into that until I can get a little more information, maybe in the next episode, right? Let me know your thoughts down below. Let me know if this episode lived up to your expectations. If there was anything that was cut out that was super important that you thought that they should have left in, make sure y'all let me know down below as well. Only if you don't think they may show it in the next episode, right? That is where I'm at with that. Leave a like if you enjoy, subscribe if your new video will come out today. I'm 100% sure of that. I'm gonna try to also get a bunch of other videos done while I'm at it because I wanna make sure I'm caught up with everything. I am very behind, right? I am very fucking behind. Appreciate you guys for being here as usual. With that being said, it's your boy Damo Senpai and I will catch you guys in the next video.